No mai haere mai. Welcome to the digital presentation of the 2020 Storylines Joy Carly Award for a Picture Book Manuscript. As we're unable to hold an in-person presentation of Storylines Awards this year, we're celebrating and profiling our shortlisted entrants and winners online. But before I introduce our winner and shortlist, a little about the Storylines Joy Carly Award, named of course in honour of Joy Carly, ONZ, DCNZM, OBE, marking her receipt of the honours of the Order of New Zealand, Distinguished Companion of the New Zealand Order of Merit, and Order of the British Empire. She is deservedly one of the country's most loved and recognised writers, and undoubtedly one of the country's most prolific and successful writers of children's books. We're proud that Storylines, that Joy is one of Storylines patrons and has supported and maintained her involvement in Storylines over many years. The Storylines Joy Carly Award was established in 2002 after Storylines contacted Scholastic New Zealand, now the award sponsor and one of Joy's publishers, asking them to join with Storylines in creating an award that would recognise the exceptional contribution Joy has made to children's literature and literacy in New Zealand and internationally. The Storylines Joy Carly Award from the original picture book text is open to New Zealand writers and is made annually when merited. The winner receives a monetary prize and an offer of publication from Scholastic. I'd like to take this opportunity to really thank Scholastic for their amazing ongoing support of this award and of the writers who enter the world of children's literature through the award. The aim of the award is to foster the publication of excellent picture books for young New Zealanders by writers permanently resident in New Zealand. This year's winner joins an illustrious lineup of writers, many of whom received their publishing break in winning the award. Our shortlist this year featured four writers, Melanie Costa from Christchurch for two manuscripts, Juliet McIver from Pauriroa, Tanya Sickling from Auckland, and Melanie Wolford from Henderson. Congratulations to all of you. The winner was Tanya Sickling for her manuscript entitled Grandpa vs. Swing, inspired, she tells us, by playful grandparents, by the everyday scrapes which become part of family law and by the lifelong allure of swings. Congratulations, Tanya. We wish you all the best for a successful future in children's literature. Tanya, we look forward to hearing from you shortly. But before that, I'd like to read a short message Joy has sent for us to give to you. Congratulations, Tanya. I wish I could be with you to welcome you and your story into the wonderful world of picture books in Aotearoa. When I was a child, the few picture books available had been written by people in other countries. I read about fields, spinets and copses. There was nothing about bush and paddocks. Now, young Kiwi children have a wide range of excellent homegrown literature, fact and fantasy, rhyme and reality, all beautifully illustrated. Tanya, you are one of the authors who makes this possible. Consider yourself hugged by thousands of children. Joy Cowley. And that's a typically wonderful joy statement. And I hope it resonates with you, Tanya. We look forward to hearing from you. Hi, I'm Tanya, and I am delighted to receive the Storylines Joy Cowley Award for 2020. It was a wonderful surprise even to make the shortlist. And so I want to congratulate the other writers on the shortlist as well on that fantastic achievement. I'd like to thank everyone involved in running this award at Storylines and also the very supportive team at Scholastic who are now transforming my manuscript into a picture book for children, which is the stuff of dreams for me. I wrote Grandpa vs. Swing with a smile on my face. I was inspired by the very playful people around me and also by the laughs we have in sharing the stories that become family legends over the years. It was fun to write and fun to share with my children. And that fun continues now in a new way as it finds a wider audience. Uh, in the meantime, I keep writing. Life among children is full of inspiration and there is fun to be found in even the smallest of details. I revel in those details and I write them down uh, just to see what stories might emerge. What a thrill it is to connect with other people through our shared words and our shared stories. 
Thank you again to all the people at Storylines and Scholastic who make this adventure possible for writers year on year. Their enthusiasm and love for children's literature is obvious and encouraging. Uh, thank you also to my fun-loving and wildly supportive family. And thank you to the wonderful Joy Cowley uh, for the many works she has written and shared with the world and also for such an abundance of inspiration and entertainment. I am honoured and delighted to receive this award. Thank you all. Kia ora koutou. At this time, when the world as we know it seems to have gone a little topsy-turvy, it seems that people are turning to books more than ever. Scholastic and the team at Storylines are committed to keeping kids and whānau reading and having fun with stories that expand the imagination and provide opportunity for escape with plenty of laugh out loud fun. And speaking of topsy-turvy, do we have a story for you? I'm Lynette Evans, publisher at Scholastic New Zealand, and on behalf of the Storylines team and everyone at Scholastic, we want to congratulate the 2020 Storylines Joy Cowley Award winner, Tanya Sickling, for her utterly delightful, sprightly, springy, swingy, and soaring story, Grandpa versus Swing. Congratulations, Tanya, and welcome to the Storylines Joy Cowley family which spans almost two decades and 16 award-winning stories. Your beautifully written, playful, humorous and entirely relatable story instantly won the hearts of judges. And we very much look forward to working with you and illustrator Leo Chisholm to publish a picture book that children will love almost as much as they love their grandpas. A picture book that celebrates funny, mischievous, mischievous and cheeky grandpas everywhere and one that becomes a childhood favourite. It is easy to understand why the judges on the Joy Cowley Award panel immediately and unanimously fell in love with Grandpa vs Swing. It sweeps you up from the get-go. I'm going to read the opening verse for you here. The thing about Grandpa which you'd never guess from the way that he talks or the manner of dress is that he's mad for a contest. He can't stand to lose. He has lightning fast feet in those comfortable shoes. But to find out what mischief Grandpa's competitive streak and his unstoppable playfulness gets him into, and just who comes to the rescue, you'll have to look out for Grandpa vs Swing, launching August 2021. Congratulations, Tanya.